Hi everyone, this is Donnie and in this video I am going to show you how to calculate minutes late wherein you're given the time in and another column provides the supposed okay, or the target time in. Now to start, you have to make sure that your data contains not just time but also dates. You have to be clear whether this 8.09 a.m. is 8.09 today or 8.09 yesterday or 8.09 last week. So whenever dealing with time problems, it always has to be accompanied by the date. Now to calculate the number of minutes late, you simply have to get, so equal sign, and then you have to get the time in because that's supposedly the more later time versus the supposed time in. And what you will get is this format, okay? Or maybe in your Excel, you may get a decimal format, so you're good to go. But if you get something like this, then you simply have to format it as a number. So you should have here uh, 0 0.01. And now I'm going to put here <coughs> minute. And then open parentheses. Then we're going to close like this. Then now you should have nine because this person is nine minutes late, okay, from eight o'clock. Now, when you double click this, let's explore the different problems that you may encounter when dealing with problems like this. So, here. In the first one, we don't have any problems. On the second one, we see that we have a problem, okay, where it's showing up as hashtag num. And that happened because this person is not late at all. So the supposed time in is 8 o'clock and we have 7, 12 a.m. And you're getting num because we're trying to subtract a lower number, okay, a lower date, okay, uh, into a, a time in, which is a higher date. And this is not allowed when dealing with time problems. So if that is the case, we have to modify our formula such that if, open parentheses, and then we're going to say that if the time in is greater than or equal to the actual time in, then that means that person is not late. So we'll just put zero. Otherwise, then we calculate so minute A2 minus B2 and then close the if function, then enter. So now that should remove the hashtag nums and convert them to zero. The next problem that we have are those that have more than one hour minute late. So for example, here, the supposed time in is eight o'clock and I have here the person coming in at 9.07 a.m. And as you could see, the formula is just giving me here seven because my formula only considers minutes and not hours. So if that is the case, I have to again modify my formula in such a way that I will now get the hour of A2 minus B2 plus the uh, minute A2 minus B2. But take note that the hour here will give me like one or two or three, and I'm looking for minutes, not hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, multiply the result of our 16 so that if I am one hour late this will be multiplied to 60 which will give me 60 minutes however if the person is um, less than an hour late so this will become zero and if you multiply this by 60 it will just zero out so enter and we're still getting nine here and then let's see if that will solve the problem of row 17. 
And there you go. And actually, we have more cells that got updated with that. So here, this person is 96 minutes late. Okay, from uh, 8 o'clock, supposedly coming in at 9.36. And from here, you can calculate the deductions or whatever you have to do with the minutes. Now, another common follow-up question that I get whenever I discuss this problem is what if there's a grace period of five minutes, for example, before your, your company deducts a time date from you? So for that, let's also solve that. So this is minutes late, but only if um, more than five minutes, or let's say with grace period of five minutes. With five minutes grace period. So the formula is almost the same. So I'm just going to copy this formula and then I'm going to modify it in such a way that if the time in okay, B2 is greater than or equal to A2, I need to modify that logic so that I would say if B2 plus and then we're going to add in time, 0, 5, 0. So this means that if the person is uh, time in plus 5 minutes, okay, greater than the supposed time in, then we calculate. So enter, and I'm still getting 9 here. So double click, and we see that almost nothing changed. Maybe let's have somebody come in at just 8.02 a.m. So that person is not yet late based on the five minutes uh, grace period. So you should see that I now have here zero because I already included a five-minute grace period. Now, if you need to change the amount of grace period that you have, you simply have to modify the time function into whatever or however you want so that it's 10 minutes, then you just have to change this to 5 or to 10. If it's a one-hour grace period, then you just have to change the first one into 1 because the time function has hour, minute, and second as its arguments. Now, another possibility is that, let's say that with five minutes grace period, we're also going to, let's say, deduct that, uh, that free five minutes that employees have. So instead of nine, this person will only be deducted for four minutes because there's a five minutes grace period, right? So if you want to do that, then you simply have to update the portion of our formula that calculates the minutes late and just deduct five from it. Because this um, formula here or um, calculation over here will only happen if it's beyond five minutes late, right? So meaning we just have to deduct five so that we give that three five minutes okay, to the person. So we can double click that and see it take effect in the other cells. Again, it depends on how your company implements lates. So I just presented you with different options to calculate minutes late. And that ends this video. I hope you learned something new. And if ever you have any questions, please uh, feel free to use the comment section and I'll try to answer as soon as I can. And that's it for today's video. I hope you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.